guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Kev the Game, and the Championship Gaming Channel, of course. Now, today's video, a very special one, as all my videos are. I'm going to be showing you how you can play PS3 emulation on your PC using a brand new PS3 emulator called RSPC3, which is a PC PS3 emulator. Now, the program is very simple to use, very easy to load, and everything. And I will show you in this guide a compatibility list because some of the games for PS3 don't actually work on the emulator whereas other games work completely fine no performance issues nothing like that now using this emulator you can use your existing ps3 physical game disc now using a external blu-ray writer slash reader you can create your own ps3 game iso rom files now the program uses both iso rom format and a format called pkg in this video i will be covering iso rom format only not pkg format um, i find iso roms a lot more easier to use so let's get straight into the video and then I'll show you exactly how you can set up the PS3 emulator and how it all works. All let's right go. Guys. So the first thing that you're going to need to do in order to get the PS3 emulator is if you go to Google and you just type in PS3 emulator, you should come to a website here called RPC s3.net now i'll leave a link for the website in the video description so when you come to the website you should see it here now the first thing you want to do is pretty very simple easy hit download the 64-bit now you're going to get a lot of different versions appearing um depending on what operating system you're using so if you use an apple mac you would obviously use mac os but for this example i've got a windows so you just want to download the file here it's not a big file 21 megabytes now once that file is downloaded you want to load up the emulator so when you load up the emulator it will look pretty much like this obviously minus the games here so it'll be quite blank so in order to get the games to actually play you need to put a software system update on there so to do that the next step very simple if you head on over to Google and go to the official PlayStation website here again I'll leave the link for this in the description of the video you want to download the PS3 system update the latest version 4.90 now one here you want to be using this option here update using a computer so when you do that you get a button here saying download ps3 update so just go ahead and download that and the file should be called this ps3 update dot pup now it's a pup file so that's the system update 4.90 here now in rcs3 emulator when it boots up again minus all these games here you won't have anything there the first thing you need to do is boot the emulator so if you go to file and you want to press install firmware now depending on where you've obviously saved the update file search for it here now if you click on this icon here we can do all files so do all pup files and you'll see ps3 update will appear so if you just go ahead and double click this the it will i've already previously installed it but if it's your first time doing it you just want to hit the install button and below here on the screen you're going to see a load of different things happening now it does take a few minutes to actually install the operating system but once it's done that's all you need to do you only need to do it once so that's fine so I'm just not going to go in and install it that's fine now let's move on to the game alright guys so now that you've got your RSPC3 um, firmware installed and updated everything's all good now we need to do the game so for this example I will show you so your game file for the PS3 should appear as a disk image file also known as an ISO file now the emulator system won't actually be able to read this so in order to get it to read you need to have these three folders now to get this all you do is go on over to your emulated game for example so black site area 51 all you want to do is right click the file and you want to do open with and use Windows Explorer now when you do that you can see it's emulated a DVD drive up here with the Blu-ray file and when you upload it open the file sorry you'll see three different options appear so you've got PS3 game update and the disk what you want to do is highlight all three of those right click and copy now when you copy those you come out of here and make a separate folder so my folder is called PS3 games so I've named I made a brand new folder called it black site area 51 game double click in the folder you want the game and paste those three files in here now the files here is literally the whole game opened up so it has to be in this format only otherwise the games will not load so once you put it in that format 
if you load up the emulator again and now you go into add games if I go into my PS3 games folder you can see it here the folder so all you want to do is press that and press select folder the game will automatically appear here now if you've done everything correctly you should see it appear here like this and you can see the compatibility now it's green which means that the game will run absolutely fine no issues now you can see here I've got another game on there Midnight Club Los Angeles and if I go back to the folder again you can see the ISO file is here and I've made a separate games folder so in that games folder you can see the three folders are in there exactly the same so this applies to every single game that you want to use now whenever I added the game in here it's actually come up with an orange amber symbol which means compatibility in game now this game has given me severe performance issues so it doesn't run as smoothly as black Sight area 51 but when you add in your games here you will get this popping up so if your game is lit up green it means that the game will run smoothly no issues if you go on an orange amber or even a red then the game will either not load or you will have severe issues performance wise playing the game alright guys so now to actually play the game so you've got your game here and you want to play all you do is simply click on the game you can either press play or double click it but before we do anything before we do any of that we need to configure our PS5 control so if you go on over to pads here and you can see there is a number of different inputs so you can have a keyboard a DualShock 3 which is a PS3 controller a DualShock 4 which is a PS4 controller or the DualSense which is a PS5 XI input is actually an Xbox controller so if you wanted to use that you can but for this one we're going to use the DualSense so on the DualSense controller alright guys so you can see here on the PS5 controller I'm moving the joystick pressing all the buttons and you can see it responding on screen so if you're getting that then you know your controllers all connected and working alright guys so once you're finished getting your controller set up and everything's all synced and working the next thing you can do is if you go into configuration go to GPU leave the renderer as OpenGL um, sometimes depending on what system you're using your graphics card may appear here so just leave that now if you want to change the resolution and upscale the games I would recommend using this scale here so as you can see we're going more and more so if you go up to all the way to 1024 1024 that will obviously change the scale now here you can see here the pixels will change to 3840 by 2160 that's about 4k now bear in mind if you do start changing these around and trying to upscale it to something ridiculous like 800% you will probably get a lot of performance issues so I wouldn't mess around with that unless you really want to. Now the next thing you can do default that will be unticked so if you just press that button there when you then go to boot the game it will appear in full screens for you. So that's all you really need to do in order to get the controllers working and loading up the games. Okay guys, so now if you head on back to the rpcs3.net website, you're going to get a page called compatibility, so it's also up here. Now this will give you a list of every single PS3 game from A to Z, 0 to 9, hashtags, whatever, of all the games and their playable format. So any game with the green symbol playable means you're not going to get any issues, the game should work completely fine without any issues. Now if you see Midnight Club Los Angeles here, it's got a amber in-game compatibility now back on the website here you can see in-game basically means it has serious glitches or insufficient performance now you'll see in the next part of the video I will show you the difference between the Midnight Club Los Angeles suffering major performance issues All and right, you guys, can see so you here, go to boot up your game you're gonna get this loading screen up here so I'll just let it compile the game it shouldn't take too long and the game should boot successfully Alright guys, so you can see here playing Black Sight Area 51, the game is running silky smooth, it's playing with no issues. In the bottom left corner you can see it's saying compiling shaders. Now at this part of the game, it actually froze for me and right about here the game actually froze as you can see compiling shaders. Now that can happen from time to time but it's only for a few seconds and as you can see here the game was playing silky smooth and absolutely fine with no performance issues. Alright guys, so this is the second game I tested, Midnight Club Los Angeles. Now this is a game I've been really wanting to play for so long. Now I had really high hopes for this. As you can see here, during the game, the cutscene loading, the game runs completely fine. Silky smooth, no performance issues, absolutely nothing. So I had high hopes for this. 
game running perfectly fine but once I actually loaded up the game and actually got into the actual gameplay the glitches and performance issues were so bad the game was practically unplayable but you can see the cutscenes was running silky smooth with no issues at all performance wise so next clip I'm going to show you the actual gameplay and how it was suffering performance wise so don't forget check the compatibility list and you will see why some games work fine others do not play at all all right so here's the actual gameplay you can see in the bottom left corner it says compiling shaders and this is not me playing in slow motion this is the actual game running at probably 10 frames a second 13 max you can see how slow everything is so I even tried to put it in cockpit view to see if that would make a difference it wouldn't make any difference at all you can see it just keeps saying compiling shaders all the time and this is how the game was running so you can see the game has major performance issues and glitches and it was just completely unplayable which is such a shame as I really wanted to play this one especially but yeah definitely check the compatibility list before you do or want to play any games as some may work like Black Sight Area 51 works fine, Midnight Club Los Angeles not so much. So guys that is the end of the video as you can see setting up the PS3 emulator is very simple and very easy loading the games is also very simple and easy just bear in mind the compatibility issues with games some will work some won't work it's just a case of checking the website and then making sure the game will play and again you can just be using your PS5 controller or a PS4, PS3 controller or an Xbox controller or a keyboard and mouse. So the options are there for you to use. But let me know in the comment section guys if you have any issues, any problems or any questions about the emulator or any setup issues. Please let me know in the comment section below. I will try and help you out as much as I can. But if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with some more awesome gaming content. Thank you for watching. Take care.